Hey guys, what's good? How you doing? I hope you are doing well. Welcome to Vinyl TV. If you are new to this channel and if you are, please consider subscribing. I will appreciate it. Thank you very much. I want to show you what we got here. We got this gear. This is Epson Expression Horn XP5150. This printer is multifunctional printer. It's mostly tax triple in one if you like in the sense you can copy scan and print from this gear this printer is very compact you can print double sided with this printer what i want to show you right now is to show you how to load the paper tray and also complete the alignment head this printer is using ink cartridges 502 ink or 502 extra large if you check my video you see how we install the ink right now what i want to show you is how to load the paper paper tray and also complete print head up print alignment head if you like okay so what we want to do right now is to bring the paper and this is the a4 paper right and with this printer i'm going to give you a bit overview from the back is the power cable if you have any paper jam this is where to check check for any paper jam and debris and gently remove it and close it back okay and this printer usb cable goes right here usb cable is not included in the packaging we have this at vinetex store free delivery here in uk and this is the scanner for this printer flat bell scanner stick your document id card what you want the job you want to do on top of the scanner and select the function from lcd screen copy or scan okay and this printer the ink cartridges is right here in the corner it's already loaded 502 is what it's using okay now what we want to do is to sh show you how to demonstrate to you how to basically load the paper and complete alignment page is what we're going to do to load the paper what you need to do is open up the paper tray so this printer is using button casket okay so open up the paper tray to adjust it you just need to adjust it by holding the blue one okay to adjust it to the particular size you are you size of the paper you are using okay so going to get a decent amount of paper So get decent amount of paper. Okay, then go in. If you don't arrange the paper properly, it will result to you having a paper jam. Okay, so go in gently, smoothly. Okay, you can actually add a little bit, but I want to have so, leave some room. And once you're done, bring adjust, bring it closer. Okay, and close. Now the next you need to do, do is the next you need to do is gently push this inside okay the paper tray and once you're done the next we need to do is we need to start completing the alignment right now it's asking us initialization completed when you install the ink initialization the next thing you see is initialization complete move on to print quality adjustment so select ok okay right now align the print printer to get the best print quality so you can do this later on but adjust it now recommended so adjust select okay okay perform print head nozzle check to check the print quality you can print print this letter or now so i want to print it now select okay load a4 size paper in the casket which you have done to not to nozzle check pat pattern okay so right now we need to select print okay so right now it's printing okay this is what it's doing there we go yeah there we go you can see this is the first okay nozzle check we printed out okay and you can see it will ask you from the printer okay check the printed pattern and select the closer result okay from the you can see 
from this right now i can see the left one there's a broken line on the left and the right one is steady okay so we select the right okay select okay only thing you need to do is select okay okay now align print position to fix misalignment and banding okay i can do this print letter or right now adjust select adjust and select okay okay so right now load a size paper in the casket to align pattern click okay and they will start to print Okay, it's printing. Here we go. So this align pattern, okay, you can see. Now what we need to do is we need to go to the sc screen, okay? Select the pattern that show no gap or dark line so what you need to do is look on the pattern printed okay then you select the one that has no gap or no dark line okay so we start from number one so you check from one two three to six okay so one two three to six number two is one two two six. so you don't need to go first what you have here is number one okay so you select the one that has no gap or dark line okay so when you look at it you just need to look at it so i'll probably say the one that has no gap probably say maybe number six so what you need to do is then use plus or minus arrow plus or minus sign to select the number so if you want to write number six you want to type number six then use plus sign to number six select okay okay then it will proceed to number two okay so number two then you do the same thing check the one that has no gap and no dark line okay so we select number one so then you go use negative can use minus to go to number okay or plus either way so once you select number one select okay and it will ask us now the next is vertical alignment load a4 paper in the casket to align patterns click ok then it will start to print out the vertical alignment is the next is doing so it's printing it out right now vertical alignment so this is the process you follow Here we go. Okay, so right now this is the vertical alignment. Okay, with vertical alignment, what you need to do is okay, choose the square with no fear strikes. Okay, so choose square with fewest strikes is what we need to do. And okay, so we go with number one. Okay, first of all, you need to check number one square with fewest strikes. I will say number seven. So we go to select seven for it. Once you select, then you select okay to proceed to number to second page. Okay, to number two. So number two, right now, check choose. The square with the fewest tracks 
so you just need to look at it and see the one that's got fewest tricks okay it's number two so we'll go to number two tap number two select okay now they go to number three the same thing choose the square with fewest tricks okay so you look at it and see the one that got fewest tricks you can see the one that is full and also so look at it okay so i will choose number four even number three on this particular one so choose no, number three select three press ok now we are number four okay choose the square with fewer strike you see so this particular one you can see number one completely you can't see any stress on it so we select number one okay select ok then we go to number five okay choose this i will say number three on number five you can see number seven does it line and strike on it so number three on this particular one so choose three select ok so the last but not the least number six okay with number six i will select number four for this okay there's no stress on it so select number four okay so you can select number four and press okay right now rule line adjustment okay the next is rule line adjustment load a4 paper in the casket to align pattern select okay okay There we go so this is rule line adjustment okay so this is number one and number two so you check rule line adjustment okay select the pattern that show no gap or dark line okay with this right now i will select number for number one the one that has no gap okay i will select um select the pattern that show no gap or dark line okay so we select number four okay so number four so number two okay go to number two select the pattern that sh show no gap or dark line okay so i will select number seven for this so select number seven print okay right now select okay So this right now this is horizontal okay and once then take this this is the horizontal which choose the rectangle that are not separated or overlap so you look at it closely okay you can see the one that is you can see some of them are overlapped okay choose the rectangle that are not of separated or overlap so you look at it properly okay and see the one that are not separated or overlap okay so what i will select from this right now you can see up uh, we'll select number four okay select number four okay now see print head alignment complete you can adjust again from maintenance so right now it's information print head alignment is complete select okay here we go so once you've done everything it will take you for you to be able to you can see the function of the printer and can copy print and scan okay so this is how to complete alignment head for this printer if you're happy with this tutorial please do consider to subscribe it helps the channel thank you very much indeed and stay blessed thank you <laughs>